Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to video on how to perform ServiceNow automation testing using Selenium and Cucumber framework. As part of this, we will use Eclipse, Maven, Cucumber, Selenium, and Chrome Web Driver, or any other web driver of your choice if you want to run this execution on uh, uh, any other browser apart from Chrome. So the video has three parts. The first part is uh, we'll do a demonstration of uh, functionality that is getting automated. Next, we'll look at the code and then we'll see the setup that is required. Let's get started. This is my project setup in Eclipse. I'll run this. I'll do a Maven test uh, to run this execution. And once I do that, it starts building uh, a project and then it starts executing this. Uh, so once we see this info message called tests, then the execution will start. Uh, we should see a Chrome coming up and then uh, uh, running the steps. So if you see the scenario, it says log into service now. So it's trying to log into service now. So it opens up login.do first. As you can see, the message it says Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So it's entering username and password, and we click on login button. Uh, and then that uh, once that is done, then it tries to get a session, and then it opens up incident underscore list dot do. So that's what is done here. So if you can see. I open login page, I enter username and password, I open incident list, right? These three other steps I have performed. Now that covers the demonstration. So let's talk about what was set up which is done. So let's go to the project explorer again. So if you see here, there are different uh, components to this. The first key package is IO Cucumber service now. So we, here we have defined uh, service now uh, utils.java. So this is the key Selenium uh, setup that is done, which does all the work. So first is uh, we're trying to uh, instantiate uh, web driver. Uh, again, here we are using Chrome, so we're doing Chrome, web, Chrome driver. And then uh, I've defined uh, the base URL uh, so that we can use it uh, in subsequent functions. And then the first function is open login page. So basically here, uh, I'm trying to open slash login dot do the login page. And I have defined the implicit weight so that we can uh, allow the page to load before we do the next steps. Second function is enter creds, which is basically entering uh, credentials. So it is sending a key called uh, uh, sending keys, which is for username and then for password. So here I'm finding an element using, using XPath method, but there are different ways of doing it. Uh, yeah, here we have chosen XPath. And finally, we are clicking this. Uh, so this verb underscore login, which is nothing but the login button. The third function is open incident list where I'm trying to open a page called slash incident dot underscore list dot do. Now these are the key uh, functions, as I mentioned, uh, which is doing the Selenium implementation. And finally, the closed browser, which is uh, doing this quit. Now, we are calling them uh, using this uh, step definition in dot Java file. So here, uh, I have my steps defined. So the so first step is, uh, I have username, I mean, I open login page, basically. So here I'm calling this open login page, which is defined here, right? So I'm calling this function from this uh, step definition service now, .java. The next one is uh, I enter credentials, where I'm calling this enter creds uh, function, uh, which is this one here. And then finally, I open incident list, which is, again, we are calling this function here. So basically, this is the class which is doing the work of calling these functions, which are defined in service now utils. Now, if you see here, we have this uh, declaration for given, when, and then. So these are defined in a file called feature file. Again, this is a part of Cucumber setup. So I open the feature file. So here we have a feature and a scenario. The, scenario, the feature is uh, login. The scenario is login to test service to log into service now and open incident list. So first I'm opening login page, then I enter username and password, then I open incident list. So these are my three given when and then steps, which are being called in the step definition service now. So basically this is the Java class, which is trying to glue the feature to the actual uh, Selenium setup, right? 
So th this is this. Next, uh, one more key uh, Java file is run Cucumber test. So this is the main declaration which is declaring uh, the Cucumber setup. Where uh, you can see here that I'm calling this uh, declaration called Suite, and then it is including engines which is Cucumber, and then select class path resource which is IO Cucumber service now, which is uh, this one here, and then uh, configuration parameter is blue property name which is IO Cucumber uh, awesome now. Sorry. I have Cucumber Awesome now, Cucumber Awesome now, which is defined this package, and then uh, plugin property name is pretty. Right? So yeah, so this is the uh, class which is telling uh, what is the framework to use, and then this is the uh, class which is basically trying to connect the features uh, given when then to the actual service, the serial name implementation, which is done in this class here. So this is the setup, and in terms of dependencies, we look at the POM file. So if you see here, we have added two properties. One is to define the Java version. The second one is uh, for uh, source encoding. And then there are various dependencies for this project to work. A uh, couple of them are for Cucumber, and then JUnit, and then Selenium uh, setup. And, uh, and then finally, the, the complete form looks like this. And in terms of the setup which is done, as in uh, the additional installations to which, is, which are done at Eclipse level, first we have installed uh, from Eclipse Marketplace, uh, Cucumber Eclipse plugin, uh, so that the Cucumber setup will work. And then uh, for Selenium to run the uh, Chrome browser, we have to install, uh, or we have to download Chrome web browser and do a uh, class path setup so that uh, Selenium can find that during execution. So I have downloaded them here, and uh, they are placed in this location. But again, it can be any location of your choice, as long as there is a uh, environment variable which we, which can find this. So here we have Chrome driver uh, along with the license. And again, if you want to invoke this in uh, Firefox, then you use this Gecko driver. And if it's uh, Edge, then you can use you will use this driver. So that's the driver setup and the marketplace installations, uh, which are done as part of setup. So I think that completes the uh, scope of the video. So let's do a quick recap. So as part of this video, we are trying to uh, perform service and automation testing using Selenium and Cucumber. And I have demonstrated the functionality that is getting automated, the code that is written, and the setup that is done for this code to work. Uh, the code is available on GitHub. I'll post the link to that on, uh, on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. This is Anil.